Hello, friends, and welcome or welcome back to Shadow Play Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make yourselves at home. And if you're returning, well, friends, you know how I feel about you. Thank you so much for coming back as many more of your precious time with me here on our channel, friends. Also, if you voted on the community page for what topics you would like to see reads on this week, thank you so much. We are going to be doing your next romance today. That's the one that um, as of about, I don't know, 20 hours after I posted, that's the one that has the most votes. So um, yeah, you guys can feel free and go back and um, vote on that if you haven't already. And I'll see if there's another topic that I'll pick from that. I'll also be doing the spicy edition incoming messages as well. I know you guys were interested in that one. Um, but for today, this is the one we're going to do your next romance friends. Um, so I kind of jumped into it today, but, um, for anyone that is interested, I do offer private readings. I would love to do that for you if you want a private reading, but please know that the only way to book is by visiting the link that's up on your screen, shadowplaycollective.com. This is my online shop. It's super easy to book. Um, if you have any questions, I'd love to connect with you over there. And so let's get to it. You already know what it is. It's a collective reading on YouTube. So only take what resonates and leave the rest behind. We are talking about your next romance. For those of you that are in a situation or you're feeling connected to someone, maybe this will give you indicators as to whether or not um, this situ that situation is heading in this direction. Um, and for some of you, you're completely single and this could be predicting your next person. So everyone's circumstances are different. So please only take the messages that feel like they're for you. And always feel free to pick another group if it's not resonating. All right, we have three groups to choose from. We have group number one, group number two, and group number three. When you are ready, I'll meet you at your reading. Hello, my group number ones. If you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. Today, we're going to be looking into your next romance. We're going to be seeing, um, yeah, what this person is like. We're specifying romance here because we're totally done with that King of Wands in reverse situations, right, friends? So even if you are in a situation, maybe this kind of kind of give you some guidance with that. Whatever your circumstances may be, the intention of this reading is to bring you, my group number ones, messages that you most need to hear regarding your next romance. We'll be seeing uh, what we can learn about this person and what your dynamic is going to be like. We'll just be looking into all the things, friends. You know how we like to just kind of go with it. Let's get to it. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number ones. My group number ones, please, Spirit. We want to know about their next romance. What can you tell us? What can you tell us, please? Someone could be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio. What can you tell us, my group number ones? next romance. Oh, oh, this person's been really smart with their money. I mean, that's already romanticals to me. <laughs> it's 2023. <laughs> we need this kind of stuff. My group number ones. Okay. So, but getting serious, this person, they already have, um, they either own a home or they've been very, an indicator of who they are is, you know, that they've been smart with their money or they did something really smart at one point and it led to their success meaning um they were you know they don't necessarily have to be old but let's say that they were really young when they bought their house like during the housing crisis or something and then now it's like completely like it, it's been more than worth the investment like something like that um and the reason i bring up the housing crisis if you're american that's like 2008 2000 like way back then um, so not saying that you're dealing with someone who, you know, is like, you know, just like this person who's only out for, to like benefit themselves. No, I just think that they've made some kind of smart choice, smart decision, and it, it's led to a place of stability. So this person's going to have money. If you're, uh, oh my God, I just started hearing, um, you know, Kanye's, I guess that chorus or like hook, whatever on gold digger. Um, yeah. Cause this is not a broke fill in the blank. <laughs> it, it, it's not, this isn't a broke person. 
listen, this person is very sweet and you wouldn't think it because um, again, they might be, I think they're a little quiet. If they're not quiet, they might initially kind of be reserved, but it feels like they're really sweet and it feels like you, you see this side to them. I also think that this person does things that are very sweet that remind you of like, it feels very like young, very like, oh, like that was sweet. This person doesn't, um, like you're going to be able to like, like go out and, and this person like enjoys taking care of you again. Like, it's not to say you're reliant on them. It's not, it's just, it's this person has it. So it's like not even a question. Like you guys go to the restaurant or to a bar or brunch or whatever. And you know, they, they see that you see something that you like and they like might buy it for you. That's cute. You guys are, okay, I have to throw this out there and I never do. If you listen to my readings, you know I never absolutely talk about this. But I have to say, I think you're gonna be eating a lot with this person and it, for those of you that drink or for those of you that enjoy your cocktails, I think you guys are gonna be doing that a lot. Some of you, the more you hang out with this person, some of your pants might be a little bit tight. They brought my eye to this little belly. It's cute, but just telling you guys, if you guys are like, if you're a beer drinker, maybe you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm bloated now. <laughs> we, we went out two days in a row and I'm feeling it. All right. My group number one's next romance, please. What can you tell us? My group number one's next romance. This person, okay, they are going to like Uber Eats. Yes, you guys are going to like, it, real interesting. Someone here, uh, I feel like they like to um, order food in or just like they like to hang out like that. Because I, I do feel like um, you're going to be spending time alone with this person. They like their alone time. So that makes me think like delivery. This person does. Okay, so initially one of the indicators of who this person is, is they're cold. They're a little cold. They might be, like I said, it's almost like they're really reserved until you get to know them. And it's almost like you were like, I had no idea that there was this side of you or like, you're actually funny, you know, or like, I, uh, there's just a, a feeling there. I don't think that they are very loud or not saying they're all, you know, mousy and quiet. I'm just saying, I, I don't, I don't know if this person's like one of those people that gets really loud and excited, like I'm, I'm getting reserved. I'm getting Aquarius Libra Gemini, almost like very Aquarius though. But then you get to know them and you're like, oh my gosh, you can be silly. I love that you're silly in a cute way, you know, like they might have a little dance to a commercial, like a, a whole ass dance to like the Mentos song or something, or like, um, well, I just heard like 1-800-BAIL-BONDS. <laughs> Maybe someone has a little song to their local 1-800-BAIL-BONDS. I don't know. That was so random. But it's almost like you're like, it's cute. It's really cute. And by the way, people know that this person has their shit together. Or people know that it's, it's obvious. It's obvious that this uh, person has built something for themselves. It's like we're aware of what they have going on, not what they have going on behind closed doors, but we're aware of something in regards to their family or their home. Interesting. They are going to be romantic. This person does have a romantic streak. And um, this nine of wands tells me like there's someone who's, I mean, who hasn't gone through a lot in love. But I feel like they're inclined to be guarded. But with you, it's like they just kind of let this out. Why the Ten of Wands in reverse? Yes, they're not the best at speaking. This person, you guys, I wouldn't even be surprised if this is one of those 
unicorns that doesn't have social media or post themselves. If they have a business, maybe it's their businesses, but I don't think that there's like indicators as to who's behind it. Or if they do have to show face because they are the head of something, it, there's a, it's a very uh, calculated image that they put out because they do not let people in. It doesn't feel like they do. This person is very guarded. This could be someone that maybe at one point was used for their resources or they're just naturally like that. Yeah, it doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel like they like online things, which you know what makes me, what that makes me think of. I was about to sip my tea too. <laughs> Put the tea down for now. That makes me think that this may not be an online dating situation. Now, that's not for everyone, but it definitely feels like this person might have some kind of um, aversion to uh, being online too much or, or spending time there. They might feel like it's a burden or it's unnecessary worries or like they just don't like to be bothered with it. Why the Two of Swords with the Hermit? My group number one's next romance, please. So the thing with this person, they are going to show you romance. They are going to show you a good time, but you're going to feel in the middle. You're not going to be sure what to do because you're pulled between you want marriage or you want commitment, or maybe some of you are divorced and you're like, I, there's certain things that I want. I want to feel deeply loved. I want, I want, uh, I don't want just this, um, cause don't get me wrong. This feels good. And I do feel like there is love here. We're not going to say in love. Maybe you are, and maybe you're the one setting the tone now because it doesn't feel this person's personality or the way they are or what they've shown you, you're not so sure that they want the same things. And I feel for those of you that feel a strong enough connection with this person, I feel like you're going to be addressing that. You're going to be like, I'm tired of things feeling up in the air. I want more. Some of you could be wanting children or some of you just want that next level that you can grow with someone. And you're like, oh my gosh, I just started hearing Aaliyah. Are you that somebody who is watching right now? Um, yeah, are you that somebody? I'm going to have to start making a list for you guys. <laughs> Don't forget the commercial jingles. <laughs> um, yeah, guys, because it feels like there's a lot that's up in the air here. There's a lot of confusion and there's a lot. There's just not clear. And one thing that you are clear about is what you want. And um, I feel like there, there comes a, a stalemate in your situation where you are ready to move things forward. All right, we have all signs showing up, especially, I'm just going to read the majors, um, Sagittarius, uh, Virgo, and that was the Empress, so um, Libra and Taurus. All right, but we have literally everything is here, water, air, fire. Actually, did we have air? Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. Are you kidding? That freaking King of Swords staring at us. Um. <laughs> That King of Swords, Mr. Romanticals. Look at that. This person's going to be sweet to you. That's why you're going to be torn. Because you're going to be like, are you kidding me? Yeah, give me more of that. <laughs> like, you can do it. You're capable. You've shown me. Just do it more. Like, <laughs> all right. Messages for my group number ones, please. Their next romance. Um. Yeah, there's no, the next romance. What can you tell us, please? My my group number one's connecting with this person. What can you tell us about the potential of this connection and where it could be heading? What do my group number ones need to know, please? Messages for my group number ones of the potential of this connection, their next romance. My group number one is their next romance. We have the two of swords. This person's going to like, uh, they're going to test you. 
I'm not saying that they're testing you on purpose. I'm saying I kind of feel like your connection with them tests you to some degree because it feels like things do reach a stalemate and it feels like you're, there's so much potential here to be happy. There's like, but things are off and they're not balanced. It's almost like you find it hard to remain hopeful that things are going to change here. But there's, again, this potential. And it's like, I feel like things are gradually happening. But I don't know if it's enough or if it's at the pace that you would like it to. Because you're like, I should move on. You're like starting to lose hope like this. Maybe it's like getting you a little pessimistic or it's making you kind of realize that um, nothing's ever been grounded here. There's never been like a real conversation like of where we're talking about serious things or I don't know. It just feels you're you're wondering if you guys just want different things. It's the pace. This person moves really slowly. And the thing is that even when they're in love or that they do care, it's, it, it's really difficult for them to show it. And maybe that's also something that you're wondering if you can, if you want to even deal with. So it does feel like there is a continued investment in this situation. And it does feel like you, you do get what you want, but again, this is an energy of, it's up to you guys if like, it's enough, you know, now we're only looking to see like where that energy is potentially heading when you get to this crossroads, when you get to this point of uncertainty. And a lot of you will be choosing to work on this. This person is showing you something. This person is showing you change or they're showing investment, it is slow. This person moves very slowly. I wouldn't be surprised if they're a fixed sign, possibly um, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, or Aquarius. Why are they moving so slow? <laughs> Not that I'm trying to rush things, but I'm just like wondering. This is a slow burn, guys. What can you tell us? Oh, they're self-sabotaging. Someone here might suffer from depression and isolate. Yes. Someone here might have a, a, hopefully it's not addiction, but have to throw that in there. Or some kind of toxic tie to something, but it does feel like it's depression. And then with the star in reverse, it could be mental health. where they isolate and they, they keep things that could explain that hermit energy. Maybe you're dealing with someone that has, um, it doesn't feel like anxiety. It feels like it's more in the mind. Well, I guess anxiety is in the mind. I don't know. I feel my anxiety in my chest. And then when I channel it for you guys, it's usually in my chest and my stomach. This feels like this person is self-sabotaging and they keep distances. Maybe, um, maybe this person has a hard time believing that they're lovable. But yeah, it doesn't seem like when it comes to love, maybe they've had a healthy connection or relationship or I don't know. Y'all know how it goes. I think a lot of you will be choosing to kind of see where that goes, though, my group number ones. All right, let's get some oracles for you guys. Oh, you know what? I got some new oracle cards, too, that I'm going to be using. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones when it comes to their next romance. When it comes to their next romance, please. Oh, so look at, I said anxiety. I was like, I wasn't sure. Someone's going through it, guys. Your person might have issues with that. And maybe that's why you're okay with taking things slow. 
So that death card, it's like we're bringing an ending to a chapter. Um, fear, look at this person. Fear holds them back a lot and there's a lot of anxiety. There might be trust issues that they have, but then I feel like these are the like good things that you guys have going on. This trust, passion, and balance. So finding balance in this connection. You guys are going to be speaking up though, is what I feel, my group number ones. It definitely felt like it was you had something to say. All right, let's pull. Um, I just got these classic horror oracle cards that I wanted to use. And I love that this is a romance reading and I'm using these, but it is spooky October. So let's see what these oracle cards have to add to the mix. Let's see what their two cents are on this situation. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones. We have cat. So we're going to do one more. And we have the call. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's weird. Cat call. Um, so the call makes sense here because I, I read the guidebook. I actually want to pull it up for cat because I don't remember if I got to that one. But this is talking about whether you choose to answer the call or not. Like you always have the option not to pick up. You always have the option to steer clear of anything that really isn't like good for you or growing for you, um, including this connection. As much as you might understand this person or as much of a connection there is, it is still a choice that you, that's free will and you're able to make in the situation. Um, like I said, just because it looked like a lot of you will be sticking it out, it does not mean that you have to. And it definitely does not mean wait for anybody. I think it just means that you're going to see parts of this person that keep you connected and want to maybe engage. For some of you, you might even choose to be there as a friend and still choose to move forward um, with however is best for you. Because um, I feel like there's a genuine caring that happens here. There does seem to be a genuine connection. And then we have um, Kat. Let's see what Kat says. So the call is from the movie Scream, of course. All right. Um, all right. Kat says, embrace your hunting instinct. Focus on the world outside. So you're going to have to trust your intuition. Um, and also, cats are very agile, friends. Some of you might identify what's going on here. And like I said, you'll be able to kind of figure out um, whether it's something that you want to be a part of for the long term or not. Either way, it feels like there's a sweet situation going on. Um, yeah, and that's what I have for you, my group number ones. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, group number twos. If you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. Today, we're going to be looking into your next romance and what you can expect. We are clearly stating romance. We do not want any kind of King of Pentacles and reverse situations coming up. We want something that's going to fill your cup with um, the romanticals, if that's what you're looking for. My group number two is a reminder. This is a YouTube reading. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest for somebody else. Today, we're going to be using the... Um, what is this called? I can't remember if it's the Universal Monsters or just the Classic Monsters Tarot deck. All right, let's begin. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group. Oh, I'm still so new. My group number twos. My group number twos. Their next romance, Spirit. What can you tell us? What can you tell us about my group number twos? Next romance. What can they expect? Who is this person with? What can you tell us about my group number two's next romance? Thank you, Spirit. What can you tell us about my group number two's next romance? We have the three of castles. So three of pentacles. And then we have the two of pentacles that came up. All right. We have... The Eight of Claws, which claws in this deck are swords. Eight of Swords in reverse. So try not to worry about something, but it's a little bit back and forth. So let's see why. What can you tell us? My group number two's next romance, please. Oh, there's the King of Wands. At least he's upright. Judgment. All right, we got the King of Pentacles. He is 
reverse though. Why the three of castles, why the three of pinnacles? Why the two? Interesting. So, you guys, if this isn't your story, feel free to click off. But for some of you, this could be an ongoing situation that's been a little bit back and forth. It's been affected by a third party or by um, a third party could be work, by the way. It doesn't have to be a person. But we do have the Three of Swords and we do have the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles, when it came out initially, it was reversed. Um, so I'm just kind of keeping that into mind. But um, it feels like, or if that's not the case, someone here has is still healing from something. And maybe we're back and forth over if we're open to this or not. Why the Eight of Swords in reverse, please? Why the Eight of Swords in reverse? But yeah, because it's like they want you. So your connection, your romance, oh yeah, this person's like, no, I want you. And I can't tell if you're the one that's back and forth about this. But it feels like this is the energy of maybe when you guys start things off or possibly where you're currently at right now. Um, my group number two is because it feels like this person feels a bond to you or a connection to you, but they're also very attracted to you. It feels like they see you before you see them. Yeah, they come towards you. So you're going to know it. So this could be at a period of time where you're not really out there looking for anything. Maybe you're back and forth mentally going behind or mentally going behind, mentally going back and forth between should I, shouldn't I. So hopefully we didn't lose too many people with the third party thing, but <laughs> I had to bring that up first because <laughs> um, it does feel like there's some back and forth energy of whether or not we are ready for this or we're into this or it feels like this person reaches out to you or maybe they see you looking in another direction. They keep bringing me back to that. And it does feel like this person, um, it does feel like they come towards you. Again, there's another three. You have three threes. So it feels like there's an outside factor. Maybe you were previously involved with someone that's still kind of in your energy. Because it feels like we're just wanting to, hit, like, I don't necessarily think that you're kind of sold on this because someone here is is going through something already maybe this is when this tries to come in um yeah because I feel like maybe some of you are going to be like I just want to be alone or I think that's what's best I just want to work on myself or focus on my goals like this kind of feels like this pops in when you're not really into it and maybe that's what makes you so attractive. Yeah, because this person is like, F yes. Group number two is on their game and they are into it. All the kings are showing up. You guys might have, okay, the other thing, you guys may have, mm, no, yes. Thank you, spirit. It feels like you guys have more than one person. I know that just sounded like I had a whole ass conversation by myself, but you guys keep in mind, I do have conversations by myself all day long yeah so maybe you guys are just like i maybe i should just be single maybe i should just focus on myself because it does feel like someone sees you with someone else and they're like no um that's not who you need now for those of you that this is all one person this feels like they're very confident that you're the one for them or that they, that, uh, yeah, they want to be involved with you, but it feels like it's a little possessive, um, in a way where they've decided that, um, this is what they want and they want to go for it. And you're like, mm, I'm not really sure what I want. Hair toss, hair flip. <laughs> then we have the lovers. The choice is yours. Of course it is, my group number twos. Interesting messages. We have all signs showing up. 
literally you have all the kings showing up to your party we also have virgo we have cancer we have aries gemini is there another i love the emperor card in this deck all right, let's continue. My group number twos. Let's see. So, so far, I didn't see romance, guys. I see a lot of suitors or I see a lot of passion. Um, but let's see. Let's see uh, where this leads to. Thank you, Spirit. More messages, please, for my group number twos. Their next romance. What can you tell us? What can you tell us about my group number two and all their choices or what they're going to be wanting? What is my group number two's next romance? What can you tell us? Maybe you guys are still healing from something, my group number twos. And this is kind of just bringing you in different things to look at, maybe even to distract you a bit. Maybe it's a bad distraction. Some of you might feel that way. Like, finally, I'm on my game. Because it feels like you've uh, you've been putting work in. Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number two is their next romance. The Eight of Pentacles. So more work messages and the Chariot moving forward. Putting in the work and moving forward. All right. Messages from my group number two is their next romance. Page of Cups. All right. We have the Knight of Castles in reverse, so the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Empress. Look at the Empress. I love that one too. We have the Star. So we have Taurus and Aquarius. We have the Magician. I feel like you're really working on your goals here. Either that or you're focused on making something work. And it feels like someone here wants to move forward and leave behind, like, heartbreak someone's ready to move on so that's probably you my group number two so the page of trips if you're the one that went through a bad ending then we have the so you're the one making a choice and you might go for someone that's a little younger or you're like there's something really sweet about them mm -hmm. you're gonna know which one not to move forward with you're already going to know, or maybe you already know that this isn't leading to anything like there's no plans as to what comes next with this person, or there's just like a, there's an, a, there's a level of unattachment that happens with the expectations as to what's next or where this is heading. Again, some of you, it could be that you know which one not to move forward with. And then others of you, it's just that the thing about having the expectation or uh, there's no real plan in place. You're just, you're, you're ready for something sweet. You're ready for something, um, something nice, something soft, a crush perhaps. You know that what's meant for you is out there. And this is also helping you evolve into this Empress energy. It's like you're taking charge of your love life and of your experience and it feels that because of what you went through, it's like you came back to life, right? You pieced back together and you came back to life. Why the star card? For some of you, if you have a crush or when this crush develops, it feels like that helps bring you back to life. And it almost like it lifts your confidence. It gives you a glow. It helps you in your glow up. And it's like, maybe that's why you're like, I, I don't care where this is heading. It just feels good for now. Or this feels like it's good for me for now. This feels like it's unexpectedly exactly what you've been wishing for and what you've been wanting. Wow, you guys, the world and the star, such beautiful and like big energies. And look how it's like kind of in order because number 16 is the tower and number 17 is the star. The star comes after the tower. And this is like this totally unexpected event. Maybe it felt like everything was burning down or maybe everything did burn down or maybe this connection ends up being what changes everything and it just leads you on a new path and it feels so much better over here.
a whole new world, Aladdin vibes over here. We have the seven of pentacles. So you will be investing into this. You've been patient. It's exciting. This person's going to be very unexpected in your world. We have Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Taurus again. Fire signs as well. Cancer. This person's going to show you there. Uh, this is the kind of person that's going to either um, take you traveling. They want you a whole new world. Oh my God. The freaking Aladdin took Jasmine on a magic carpet ride. I literally, when that song popped in my head, I wasn't even like playing out the scene. And now in my mind's eye, they're showing me a whole new world. You guys are soaring around. This person might take you somewhere where you get to see things you haven't seen before. They want to show you the world. This person's going to show you excitement through experiences or through time spent with you. Um, I do think there's going to be some level of spending involved um, on both your parts, but it feels like it's exciting. Like I'm not necessarily sure your person can pay for you for your trip. Um, but maybe they'll pay, maybe they can, maybe as long as you get your airfare, they'll get the, they'll get the rest. I don't know. For some of you, something like that. For others of you, they might be able to cover the whole thing, but I do feel like there's some sort of investment that happens here. Yeah, it feels like you get excited. You guys, you guys may definitely, um, you know, travel long distances or short different distance or short distances. Just feels like you guys are going to be doing some things. So I would say your next romance, it definitely feels like there's travel involved. What else, please? Okay, group number two's next romance. The hermit in reverse. Yeah, they're going to take you out. They're going to take you out. Maybe they're going to take you places that you guys have been wanting to go to, but didn't feel like comfortable going by yourself, wherever that might be. You know how sometimes we're like, well, I don't have anyone to go with. Even if you're the most independent person, maybe there's like one place that you're like, I wish I had someone to go with or something like that. All right. My group number twos. Let's also ask the question for you of the potential of where this could be heading for you guys. All right. Thank you, spirit. What's the potential of where, or where is this potentially heading? Or yeah. What's the potential? What do we need to know, spirit? Let us know. What does my group number twos need to know about their next romance? And where that could be potentially lead to. What do they need to know, please, about their next romance? <laughs> Lots of sex. <laughs> um, it does feel like it's fun. It feels like you guys have fun with this person and you guys do date. Um... We have the Ace of Cups. There's love here. I'm, you know, it doesn't have to be like, I don't think this person's going to be telling you how much they like you. I think they're going to be showing you. And part of that's going to be, I think, the time that they spend or the investment that they make. Again, there's something here about investment. Ten of Pentacles. Four, four of cups, the hangman in reverse, the lovers in reverse. So you're going to ask yourself if you can imagine being with this person long term and deal with um, and be willing to overlook certain things. That's what you're, you guys might be asking yourselves. After being with this person for a bit or dealing with them for a bit, I think you guys are having a lot of fun. Like, that's not the issue. I think the issue is whether or not things that you see in this person are things that um, 
like I said, that you can imagine yourself living with or dealing with or for the long term. Why the Ace of Cups? You might view them as someone who ignores emotion. They might ignore conversations about emotion or how they feel. That might be a turnoff for you. Yes, they cannot communicate their emotions. That's where the issue is. You may have try to talk about it and they might change the subject. Yeah, I feel like you bring it up and you're like, hey, uh, maybe you bring up things about the home or maybe you're like, would like, do they ever think of like taking this next level and living together or, or just calling this what it is? Like it, whatever the, that is for you guys, it feels like they have a hard time communicating that. You guys might want children and maybe that's something that they're not ready to talk about. And you wonder like if this is enough for you. Because you're starting to view what makes you happy or different. Maybe you're like, well, back in the day, this type of relationship or situation would have worked for me. But now I have to be real about things. So you guys, I feel like you're going to be asking yourselves the right questions to figure out how you want to move forward. It doesn't take away from the experiences. I think you guys are going to have a great time, but I think you yourself are going to know when, um, when it's kind of time to start drawing the line or when it's time to kind of see well, what, what else is going on here. Like, well, what are you thinking? Um, my group number twos. All right, let's get some Oracle cards for you guys. Thank you, spirit messages for my group number twos. We have ghost consciousness. Yeah, you're moving with caution with this person for sure. Because it feels like you're very aware. Very aware. And I will say you guys are maintaining boundaries. Um, in this connection is what it feels like. We have ghost consciousness, caution, determination, movement, protection, and flow. I feel like this is what you guys are doing, moving with caution and like protecting yourselves. Trying to kind of, I feel like you guys are onto what's going on. Maybe you guys see this person before they even kind of see themselves or what's happening you know like it seems like your level aware of awareness is just higher and that's what's making you kind of go with the flow with this movement card just going with it ghost this could be a situation from the past that's coming back around um issues from the past maybe this person's always been like this and it's something that they haven't worked through or addressed Maybe that's why you're kind of like, can I deal with this? Um, all right, my group number twos, I just got these new classic horror oracle cards. I know they're not romanticals, but it is spooky season. So let's see what they, let's see what their um, little two cents are for your reading. Thank you, Spit. Can I get two messages for my group number twos, please? They're so, they're too big for my hands. <laughs> One more. All right, we have animal and friendship. Let's see what animal is about. We have what rules apply here? What rules apply here? Must they be obeyed? So that makes me feel like we're having a lot of fun. We're traveling together. We're doing these things or we're hanging out like we're a couple or we're hanging out like thing like we're together. Or maybe you even find yourself kind of doing relationship things without having that actual title so maybe that's you asking um what what is this what rules apply here maybe this person's even like must they be obeyed do we have to call it anything and then we have friendship i want to learn this oracle book all right let's see what friendship besides the obvious of you guys being friends i think you guys get along really well um like I said, I mean, if you guys are travel buddies and it feels like you guys are going to be hooking up, um, it feels like there's definitely passion here. There's flirtation, there's excitement, but then we get to the point where it's like, okay, now what? Where is this going? 
We have friendship. Seek counsel from those who know you well. So maybe some of you have been getting, there's certain friends that you go to. Maybe you will be talking to your friends about this. Um, and they're going to be like, yeah, of course you deserve those things. And you're like, okay, what do I do? And they're like, because mm. <laughs> really the choice is yours. Look how there's two wolves here. There's the wolf man. And then I think that's a wolf. All right, we're oh yeah, because I think this is American Werewolf in London or something. Hmm, I should have looked. All of these pertain to horror movies. Um, all right, my group number twos, that's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the reading, and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, my group number threes. If you picked a sticker, you're my problem child. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Welcome to your reading. The reason I say that is because you wouldn't even believe the lengths I've gone to to try to get this message out to you. It's been very interesting. I'm going to, just going to say there's been about four tries. This is the fifth. I ended up switching the deck. Um, I just felt the messages were so, they felt like convoluted to me. Um, and not just that, but the one reading that I got through the whole way, it didn't record. I just feel like there's some kind of hardship right now. So hopefully that's not picking up on something you're currently going through, um, or maybe you're going through in a situation. Today, we are going to be looking into your next romance. Um, and what can you expect? Who is this person? What's going to be the vibe? And where is it potentially heading? Again, maybe this means that there's going to be a bumpy road or you've been on a bumpy road when it comes to love and romance. Um, I cancel cleared the energy several times. We're going to get into it. I am going to refer back to those readings that I already did if the messages pertain. Um, and let's get to it. Let's get to it. My group number threes. Good Lord. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number threes. And thank you for giving me the energy to keep at it. Messages for my group number threes when it comes to their next romance. What can we know about their next romance, please, Spirit? My group number threes, next romance. Who is this person with? And yeah, what else can we know? Who is, who is it with? I was, I got hung up. I was like, who is this person with? Is that how you even say it? No, it is not. Who is it with? I should say my group number threes. What can we know? Their next romance. Thank you, spirit. I keep seeing the seven of swords in the back. So hopefully it doesn't come back through. Thank you, spirit. Messages for my group number threes. Their next romance. What can you tell us about this person? And the vibe, what can you tell us about my group number three is next romance. Thank you, spirit. We have the page of cups. We have the knight of wands. So this is a crush or this is, it's something that hasn't maybe developed because um, it's been inconsistent, perhaps. We have the seven of wands. What can you tell us, please? My group number three is next romance. My group number three is next romance. Yeah, there, well, there's definitely consistency here. There's a, listen, there's an energy that's been threading through all of the readings. And it feels like your next romance, you guys do not have to claim this, but I almost feel like this is for those of you that are in situationships or you've been feeling energetically connected to someone already. And this might still be picking up on that. So if it's not your story, I get it. Um, maybe there's a message in another group, but for those of you that are kind of in this weird off and on situation, it feels like it's really hard to build something stable here. It's like there's a lot of indecision. There's a lot of like uncertainty. There's things that haven't been grounded. Um, maybe someone here is dealing with like other life changes or something and it makes it, they're not there yet. Um, Cause it feels like something here it's, here it's present the emotion is there it's a little crush or a, you know someone that we like but it's also not very consistent at all it feels like this is someone that you talk to or that you're communicating with or it comes in pretty quickly for some of you this is an indicator that this will be happening soon or maybe like i said you're already in this 
Maybe this is someone that you like talking to. Oh, yeah, here's an ending. Someone's going through an ending and it makes them very defensive. Someone here could be taking care of things at home or work or something like that, where they're working to restore balance in another area of their life. And they're very undecided as to what they want in a relationship. This is someone who gets a lot of attention. This is someone who travels or they're seen. Um, this is someone who get, could get attention online. I'm thinking of the world, worldwide inter, internet um, with the sun and all of this shining bright. This is someone that could be shining bright. Someone that gets attention from, interesting, from different areas or for different things. Maybe because of their work or their their uh, lifestyle or their if they're a parent or I don't know. Maybe it's also someone that likes to look really good as well. There is ego woven into this. It's not, you know, we all have ego, but it's like someone likes the attention or they know that they're seen. What else can you tell us about this person? This person might be a little younger than you. You've worked with this person or you guys have some kind of tie. You guys work really well together. Maybe you guys are going to be uh, coming towards each other soon or um, communicating soon. But it doesn't feel like you're the most confident about it or you're the happiest or I don't know. It doesn't feel like you're very content with the situ with the conversation. You want more, I think, and they're not there. All right, why this Knight of Wands in reverse with the Seven of Swords? Yeah, this keeps things from being able to progress. Maybe you feel like there's other people or there's other things pulling at this person. So I'm going to, yeah, guys, it's, oh my gosh, it's been tying in. Those were all full of struggle as well. And I'm not saying your situation is full of struggle, but if this is your story, I feel like you may already be in it. Um, if you're not, then maybe this is just a heads up, but if you're not in it, I, you know, um, this isn't to say this is for sure going to happen. It just feels like this is a connection where there's a lot of gray area or there's a lot of, there's a lot of layers to it. There's other people involved. There's home or career that is a factor Yes, emotions are there, but it's almost like someone is focusing, like I said, on restoring order or balance in their life. And I don't think that a relationship is something that they want to like give to or worry about. It's like, that's not something that I need to add to the things I have going on. So it feels like something here is really unexpected, perhaps. What else can you tell us? My group number three's next connection. Their, their next connection, that's interesting. Their next romance. Yeah, it feels like this person, they're very focused. You're going to know this person because the thing that matters the most to them is either work or money or getting promoted or the way that they look when it comes to their home or their lifestyle, maybe the car they drive. I feel like you're going to know this. It's like you're going to recognize it or recognize them or already did. This is someone who's really closed off. And again, we have a lot of Leo energy coming through. They hold back a lot. I feel like you've already talked to this person. You've had conversations with them or you will be. They find you to be really smart and have like good counsel. They see you as being very independent You guys could share um, some kind of, uh, you could share some kind of heartache or uh, I don't want to say disappointment or like you guys could see eye to eye um, when it comes to certain experiences regarding your childhood or regarding your children, if you guys have children. Maybe being single parents or someone here could be. If that's not your story, you know that's not for you. 
but they have a lot of fun with you. And I feel like when they're with you, it's all is good. Yeah, because it heals. I'm shuffling to the deck, as you can see. And it's like what they're going through or what's going on with them. That's what I mean has a lot of layers to it. And I feel like you're not going to feel or you're not feeling the most confident, at least when it's when this is happening, whenever this is, whatever timeline this is. All right, let's continue. I'm not even going to call out signs because literally there's there's everything. I just saw Libra and then tons of Leo. Um, it could be any sign. But let's continue. Thank you, Spirit, for these messages for my group number three. My group number three is in their next romance. What else can you tell us about this person and about... <laughs> what about the romance part, Spirit? As the cards don't even want to shuffle. Tell us about the romance part. We know that there's something going on here that's going to be something to kind of work through. What can you tell us, please? My group number three is next romance about this person and the energy between my group number threes and this person. Thank you, spirit. My group number threes. Next romance. You could, you could already be dealing with this person for sure. This feels very specific, so if you've fallen off, I understand. But for those of you that are still here, this feels like there's been a repetitive block in being able to move forward. This person has either lacked consistency or has been very impulsive in the situation. And it's like anything that has happened could have been impulsive. And it feels like you guys haven't been able to come together or get on the same page. This person could be running from their feelings, denying their feelings. We did see that seven of swords, someone denying possibly how they feel. And then there's a repeating cycle of we're coming back together. And then it re kind of repeats. This person keeps things from being able to move forward. Oh, I listen. And it's like they're attracted to you and they have all this feeling and emotion and you guys are like both hiding it. It's like you guys are staying pretty reserved. I do feel you kind of trying to heal this situation or offer kindness to this person, showing them that you care. And you're doing it in a balanced way. You're not doing it in a way where um, you're not doing it in a way where I think you're putting their needs first or anything like that, or you're not taking yourself into account. I think you are. I think you're doing this because you genuinely care about this person and maybe you see that they're going through a hard time or they're struggling or you know that um, you know them kind of well enough to know they're, they're not going to make a move or something like that. Maybe you feel like if things move forward, that's like you driving it with that Knight of Wands. It's like you're inspired. You're doing you. but there's a lot of lack of certainty or clarity. It's like there's something here that you really want, but you, you're not having this conversation with them. That's where that Ace of Swords in reverse is. It's not that it's lack of clarity. I think you are clear, but I think you kind of, you're holding back on having that conversation with them about what's going on with you guys. So maybe there's a friendship or maybe, um, yeah. Because they like to talk to you. But you're not, no one's their best. I mean, most of you aren't. <laughs> Some of you might be. Um, and I do feel like you're doing emotional labor. I'm not going to lie. I'm not saying you're doing it to the extreme. I'm just saying, I think you're investing emotion here and you're being there for them. Um, but you're dealing with someone that is, in kind of their own rut or something like that. Like I, maybe they're, like I said, they're focused on, on trying to get to some kind of goal or stability or we have Gemini, Libra, Cancer, Virgo. We have all the signs. All right. Thank you, spirit messages for my group number threes, please. What else can you tell us? 
So now that we know this, like we know this feels like it's a interesting situation, but tell us the good points of this. <laughs> tell us the good points of this next romance. Because I, I don't want my group of my threes just putting in their, their little heart into the situation without getting anything back. So let's see. Um, my group number threes. What, where is this potentially heading? Where is this romance potentially heading? You, I feel like you guys really care about this person or you're just very understanding over what they're going through. Where is it potentially going? <laughs> the king of wands. The star. The sun in reverse. We're having a real hard time maintaining positive here. This person is very passive in their life or when it comes to this. It's almost like they desire something, but they may lack the confidence to go for it. So maybe they just hope that it comes to them. Why the king of wands, please? Look at you. But I love him. But I understand. And they're like, yeah, you do. <laughs> and they probably don't even say it. They probably just um, enjoy your energy. Not saying that's all you are to them. I'm sure you guys enjoy each other, but it it feels like they're in a they're in a different situation than you are. You're you're giving to this from abundance. You're giving to this because you genuinely care. And they might just be. I don't want to say taking it because they can, but just make sure that that's not your situation. Because it feels like there's exhaustion or like surrender here. And it's like you, I think you still have hopes. And I do think you guys are still like going to be involved for a bit. But it feels like it's going to take some effort on their part as well. Because there's just something here that's been hard for them to change. Or to close out. And it, this might be conflict that they bring, that they have in their life. It might be like past baggage or it might be things that come with them and being involved with them. It could be other people or responsibilities. I think that's going to be revealed to you. But because you know what they have going on, I think that makes you feel stuck. Because you're like, I care about this person. They're my friend. Um, but not only my friend, but, you know, we had this situationship or this this thing going on and I do think that some of you are feeling a little stuck like and you're like maybe you're you're telling yourself or you're saying that you're there for them as a friend or that you see the potential here but it does feel like there's past energy here that hasn't been cleared out on someone's side. And that's where the challenge is. What else, please? Messages for my group number threes. This person's holding on very tightly to something. And they take very, very long to make a move. They move very slowly. They are... They're asking for patience from you. And maybe that's what you're doing. Look at that this person it's like they want to elevate or they want to be better and they're saying that they are going to get there but it's going to take them as long as it takes them i guess yeah the choice is yours my group number three is if you choose to kind of um stay in this person's life or be there for them just know that it feels like it might be a while before this progresses into something more committed or stable for you if that's what you wanted from this person anything else please messages for my group number threes where is this potentially heading it does seem like they're maturing i will say that we have leo aquarius pisces scorpio cancer sagittarius yeah you guys this person They're working on their money. They're saying that they're 
they are maturing guys and they are growing now whether or not that's you guys growing together that's to be determined everyone's situation is different but this situation is going to be moving rather slowly so if this is not your story just take it as a heads up and maybe it's something that you don't want to be involved with but my friends i feel like i said a lot of you may already be involved and you know what's a trip is that the other two groups are completely different feeling and vibe and your vibe was just dreary um the whole all every time that i try to do it and i'm so sorry to say that um i don't yeah if this hasn't been your situation yet this i'm gonna say this reading is for some for people that are already kind of in this situation is what it feels like all right i'm getting um jumbled up now let's get some oracle cards for you guys my group number threes thank you spirit messages for my group number threes please what can we tell them messages for my group number threes someone's working on their money and putting an ending to something your sweetness has them coming back but when they do it's a disruption maybe in your life or in your energy or maybe they've been a disruption maybe you've even been a disruption in their life because they weren't expecting that all right we have anxiety this person is very anxious about providing about what they're able to provide i do think money and work is at the at the forefront of everything for them passion we have stop love there's a lot of love that's why you guys love this person or someone here is in love and there is a lot of passion here i think there's going to be a pause in your connection but it doesn't feel like it's over to be honest it feels like this is part of the story all right let's get you guys a couple of oracle cards from this classic horror oracle i know it's a love reading but you know it's all right it's october it's creepy season spooky season oh shit that almost caught on fire we have genius and we have experience maybe some of you are taking this for an experience genius makes me think someone's trying to come up with the perfect idea someone's trying to think of the perfect concoction perhaps this has been quite the experience i love that that's hellraiser <laughs> all right let me um let me check what the actual um little book says we won't read the long version just the little one oh so experience means is it really worth it maybe that's what you guys are going to be asking yourselves is this experience really worth it oh i kind of love that and it is from hellraiser like i said and the quote they have in here is we have such sights to show you um yeah friends so i like that is is it really worth it and then let's look at genius this is from a film called reanimator i have not seen it it's from the 80s the quote says cat dead details later the um for the card it says slow down keep your head on your shoulders so there's definitely a feeling here of things moving slowly and, and slowing down. Maybe that's how the only, re, the only way this person knows how to ground themselves. Maybe this is also a message for you as well of something um, of you wanting to kind of bring things to a stop. There is a feeling here of wanting to pause things. All right, my group number three is it's been interesting. I am going to nap now. <laughs> this is what I have for you. I hope it was helpful. I understand if you didn't enjoy it this time around, but you know. You never know what we're going to get. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll catch you the next one. Thanks guys.